Difficult to look good against a man who doesn't want to fight. A lawyer certainly will want to fight. And he's starting off having fought his last contest out of the orthodox stance as a southpaw. And he was clipped in the very first exchange by a right hand. Nice long left hand it was on the top of the on the top of the head there from Tetty. Obviously from the southpaw stance. Tete starting conf takes another solid right hand and he's comfortably winning this opening round oh bit of a push oh no he's called it he's given it as a he's given it as a knockdown he's given it as a knockdown with the, with the very, white glove very square on wasn't he Barry well that's a big open gung ho and a little bit more bravado in your works you've got to try and force the pace and the whole body's telling you don't catch him clean good shot that is better, that's the best. He did miss, I think he clipped him. Good shot, oh, lovely, lovely right hand there from Malloyan, good shot. Tete really has been struggling massively to my oh, good shot, good right hand. Tete takes it well though. Not talking about that. It's slow motion replay, gurus tell me that's... It was, this is another question. Good oh. shot. And that wakes up the crowd, and Loyan going to work. Yeah, the same technique, stay nice and low, oh, jumped out of, out, of out of a crouch. In three point, first three rounds, I beg your pardon, giving to Tate, but Loyan getting more into it now. Good shot again there, that's a little shot, but I took the just spinning with him. Having his fair share of the action. Just say again, prospering behind that jab. Yeah, that's the thing they have. Oh, that's lovely from Teddy. Two minutes. Oh, great shot, good right hand. Good jab, lovely jab. And again, again, rock. Oh, yeah. Just going to be careful here, Teddy, because. He is the away fighter, whatever we say shouldn't be, he's the away fighter. Alloyan's wins as a professional have come on point. Oh, lovely uppercut. Move on tight, trying to go to the outside. Nice. Well, that's the right hand, no knockdown. Dragged down with the inside. Very little by way of clean leather being landed by either man. Right hand over the top from a lawyer, maybe a scoring shot. And I, was, I was referring there to a lawyer, but maybe Tetty that was got to that let his hands go. It's a nice shot. Well, you've got you can also have an argument that he's, that he's been dominating with the jab for two minutes of every round. And it's Tetty. It's got to be a Tete round this one. as quick as you could in the early rounds. That's the right hand. Single shot though, couldn't follow it up, and another. Good job, some Tate. There's the uppercut there. Nice body shot there as well. It's intention of what he wanted to do. It's a better shot. Go home. From lion, he's getting close, he's working away. Oh, lovely body move. shot, lovely body shot from Tete though. That's right hand there from lion. I think Tete's done the most work with the jab. Nice left hand there from Tete is also. And maybe winning this round then with the point deduction yeah. another level round maybe. I don't think, I don't think it's been that sort of fight, is it? There's been a lot of attrition. I think the Fizz has gone out of his work in the last two or three rounds. I think he has struggled. A lion looking the stronger as they come toward. Russian crowd. Trying to inspire a lawyer and trying to make their opinion known. They think he's won it.
Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards. Here are the score totals. Zoltan Edyeri and Mike Fitzgerald both had it 114 to 111. Manuel Palomo had it 114 to 110. In favor of your winner by unanimous decision, and still the WBO Bantamweight Champion of the World, and moving on to the World Boxing Super Series semifinals, Zolani Lastborn Tete.